What up, everybody? Sorry, I've been on such a hiatus. Hope you watched my last video where I explained what's going on. But if you didn't, here's a brief thing. My mom having is having eye issues, and I've had to be her chauffeur, taxi driver, bus driver. I've had to drive her around to every place she's had to go, and she's had a busy week. Hopefully, tomorrow, she can see and drive herself places, and then the vlogs can really get back on track. But, uh, yeah, we just got back from the gym. Uh, got some, I had a Italian soda. Those are so, that's like the perfect summertime drink right there. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go outside. Our cars are super, super dirty, and, uh, I was gonna wash them last week, but, uh, we had my stepdad's motorcycle parked out front, and it's parked in between the two cars, and I didn't want to get that wet, <laughs> so we're going to uh, wash my mom's car and my car, and then, yeah, that's what's going on today. Oh, but tonight, we're going to see Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. It's going to be epic and awesome. I've already heard reviews from people that went to the midnight showing last night. They said it's beyond amazing. I'm really looking forward to it, and just, a lot of people are saying it's the end of an era. It may be the end of the films, it may be the end of the books, series, but for my generation, it's going to be, it's going to be like the Star Wars for my generation, you know, it's going to be like the, a series of books and movies that we show to our kids and, you know, and get them into it and whatnot, so... I that I might be pissing off a ton of Star Wars fans, but I'm a huge Star Wars fan as well, but that's what I've been associating it with recently and I don't feel like it's the end of an era. Like I think it's I think it's kinda of like the, the Harry Potter world might go underground for a little bit and then it'll resurface, you know, in ten years time ten so I'm gonna go out I'm actually I just realized I need to look up um so we have two theaters in my hometown. Uh, one is like your standard theater. The other one's a dinner theater kind of thing. It's a movie theater, and you can have dinner at it. And usually it only allows 21 and older because it serves alcohol. But there is a certain time where they do allow families to come in and see a movie. And I'm wondering if they're showing Harry Potter. So I'm going to look that up because we might go there instead. If not, we're going to go to the other one. Either way, I am seeing Harry Potter today, whether my family wants to go or not. So we're looking up the times. Alright, cars are washed. Dog has been walked. And now, I'm going to go shower and change, and then I have to drive my mom to a place yet again. So here we go. So tonight, so tonight's vlog is going to be a little on the late side. I'll probably go up tomorrow morning because um, we're going to Harry Potter tonight and we're going to the nine o'clock showing. So we have to, uh, yeah. To so, well, I could probably get it up. I don't know. We'll see. It's either late tonight or early tomorrow morning. Here we go. Go swimming, bud. Ah. You going swimming? No. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of water in there. There's not very much. I didn't want him to get soaking wet. Mm. I wanted him to have fun playing in the, sun, in the water. He's more interested in the other dog. So Riley and this other dog don't get along too well. And uh, we almost had a... Uh, Dog fight. <laughs> no, we didn't. We didn't even come close. Only because Charlie was there, he would have pulled you over. No, he wouldn't have. Riley, come here. You want to go swimming? Come here, bud. Go, go swimming. swimming in the water. Come on, go swimming. Come here, bud. Riley, go swimming. There we go. There we go. There's a hat. That's a boy. That's a boy. That feel good. It's like I'm thirsty. <laughs> it's like I really want to chase that other dog. I really, really want to get him. 
Hey, Lee, go swimming. You going swimming? Oh, no, let's not play with sticks. You want to get wet? That a boy. Yes, isn't that good? Seems like there's not <laughs> enough water in here, Mom. Doesn't that feel good? It was more like a bath than a swim. Are you done? Right. You gonna go swimming more? Whoa! <laughs> Almost fell. My room is such a mess. So. I just got back from seeing Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, and I have to say, is for a longtime fan like myself from the books to the movies, is an emotional roller coaster. Not just because is the end of the films, is the end of the story of Harry, Ron, Hermione, Voldemort, Snape. Dumbledore, all of these characters that I've grown up with and learned to hate and love and dislike and all of that. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little lost for words. I'm still in shock of... As a film critic, I would say it is visually the most stimulating thing I've seen since Avatar. Um, that... And again, as a long time fan, emotional roller coaster. There are moments where in the beginning you're just. You're sitting there, you're excited, you're anticipating because you've heard so many great things about it, but you don't, and you don't want to be let down. And you're not. Not for a single moment. And I sat there and I, I watched, and there are moments of pure action where, you know, I could feel the adrenaline pumping in me. There were moments of fear where I was scared out of my mind. There were moments of laughter and where I just sort of kind of think of my friends that symbolized these characters in my mind or that, yeah. And there are moments, many moments where you can't stop the tears. My eyes are red. I cried a couple of times just because... Not because people are saying it's the end, but because... It's amazing. These are characters that I grew up with. These are actors I grew up with. These are all people my age, slightly older, that got to be part of the most amazing story ever created by one human being. So I want to say to J.K. Rowling, thank you for everything you did without you. Well, there would be a large literacy rate in the United States, like there isn't already, um, but also for bringing this world, this boy, into the lives of children and families all over the world. I think we can all learn lessons from the books, from the films, from years to come. And if you ever do decide to write another book, We'd love to see it. I think that Joe Rowling will continue to write, maybe not necessarily about Harry Potter, but about the world that she created. That every child from the age of 7 to 71 will grow to love. I know in the future I'm going to show my kids these books and films and say, this was somebody 
This was this lady who was completely down on her luck, wrote about this little boy who happened to be a wizard, and became the most recognized name and author and franchise in the whole world. But not only that, it touched the hearts and minds and made people think about their own lives and about this alternate world that was created. Anyway, I'm just, I'm rambling and just because I'm still so in awe and it's worth going and seeing again. I'm making my parents go with me the next time and it's just... Ah, so the vlog, so here's what I want to see. If you guys have seen the film, leave your comments below. I actually, so I gave my thoughts, and this is what I said. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 is not only the most visually stimulating film I've seen since Avatar, but is also, for a longtime fan like me, an emotional roller coaster. But to all those who say this is the end of an era, I say this. Harry Potter is and will always be here in our hearts. It will never end. That's to all you who are saying it's the end of the era. All you media people, all you fans. If you're real fans, you keep it in here. Because it's not just the characters. It's not just the setting. It's not just the story. It's the lessons that you learn from it. The whole theme throughout that story, throughout, yes, throughout the story of Harry Potter, is love. If nobody caught that, then you clearly have not taken a high school English class. Or the last time you did was When to Kill a Mockingbird was the number one book in the number one book. Okay. I need to go to bed. I've got a busy day tomorrow, more to vlog about.